beautiful people, welcome back to a like the place video. Today we are going to be looking at the new character that's going to be coming out on Friday, which would be tomorrow as of the time you are watching this, because this will come out in the morning. So, the new character coming out is going to be Luna. Now, Luna is a fantastic character and one that I think a lot of players have been looking forward to. I mean, I myself have been looking forward to this card for a while, and it's going to sort of round out my tech comp if I go for it. Um, now, it is a tech beast it is a beautiful tech card and as you can see it does have 52 percent which is like that high level of tech um it also does come with some intel boost and it's going to be a secondary intel i'm going to show you the cards it is quite good now he's going to come with improved technical as you can see 30 percent he's then going to give you a uh, special training rate up a lecture rate up and an extra bonus when training dribbling which is always always good i mean we're right now i'd say we're in a place where we're hitting a lot of 500s which is always good and it's abilities like that that's going to make us keep hitting those 500s now it does come with practice bonus and intel bonus of just 20 percent it has a lecture bonus of 70 very important to note this because i think any card with the 100 lecture bonus right now feels very very strong so this card is going to initially feel probably a little weak if anything because i think 100 is just so good like right now adam blake and rind feel very powerful and this whilst it's going to be very good it might not feel as impactful as they do immediately um, and then it does have SP practice rate up 60% for dribbling. Pretty cool. Now, scrolling down, you are going to get some really cool cards with this. Now, this is the buffed version. And as you can see, it further got buffed later. So it's not going to have five cards, I promise you. Oh, wait, it's actually four cards here. Never mind, it does have four cards. But it's not going to be these cards in particular. I think there is a way to check uh, what the cards are that he does start with. Um... If I'm not wrong, and if I just select that, for example, can we go down and find the right card? The answer... Oh, yeah, yeah, we could, we could, we could. Here you go. He's going to start with... These are the cards they're going to start with. So it is a gold... Um, what's it called? <sighs> intelligence card. That's the word. So we are going to start with a gold intelligence card. You are then going to get a blue dribbling card. And then you get your white gold intelligence card, which is always really, really good. And then a white purple dribbling card, which is super. It's just super good. I'm going to be honest with you. I love the white purples. So Luna does get some really, really cool cards. Um, later on, he does get buffed, as you can see. And the buff is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the game breaking, but it's a good buff. Um, and as you can see, the white purple is going to give you two extra stages, uh, just like the white golds, but it also gives you a chance. And it is important to note a chance of being one turn extended, unlike the ring card, which is guaranteed. Now, as you scroll further down, you're going to be able to see the different skills he has. Here is the skill. I'm going to let you read this, and I'm just going to give you a quick like reason as to why I think this card is really, really good. Uh, this card is super, super good because um, it really does round off that, that technical comp. I think it offers a really good option for Intel as well. You're going to be able to use it as a secondary Intel card. It fits a few little things. So I'd say overall, if you're going to be spending, this is a card that you probably should be getting. So yeah, I do recommend this card. Also, thank you for the sub. Um, we are on stream, so things are going and chat is moving. But yeah, there you go. Uh, so yeah, overall, guys, I think this is a card that you should probably be getting. I'm going to be doing like a full reveal when he does eventually come out. Now, the 1st of November is the release date for Luna, which also could be the release date of To The World. And we are going to be doing a whole training video on that once To The World is out. So those of you who want to know more about To The World, subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you keep the channel you know, followed. Uh, and I will be doing lots of training videos once To The World drops. Until To The World drops, though, I am pretty much taking a little bit, I wouldn't say a hiatus from the game. I'm logging in daily, but I'm just not training as hard as I used to. So I'm sort of enjoying myself, enjoying my free time at the moment, and just, you know, doing other things. But once To The World drops, and once some of this good content comes in, expect to see lots and lots of content flying out the channel. So keep your eyes on the channel for the time being. Boys, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.